have such a wonderful powerful wise holy good uh, heavenly mother she is the most highly favored of all women Jennifer Matthew married to Matthew Anthony and we are blessed with five lovely children and uh, we are a Roman Catholic family I'm born in Kerala till about uh, 10 years of age then came to Bangalore So my parents were very devoted to mother mary we used to have our family rosary every day and uh, my grandparents especially my paternal grandmother she was very devoted to mother mary she had such a lively faith in mother mary and you know we used to see how she used to pray the rosary and even my grandfather at that when they were pretty old they would kneel down and pray the rosary they were no sitting down and none of us children could sit and pray the rosary so we all would kneel down and at that time devoutly everyone prays the rosary and so that was happening in my parents house too we grew up with that uh, special love for mother mary in our family when i was quite uh, young maybe around 10 years old or so in kerala then um, suddenly we heard this you know thing about uh, some nexalites communists or nexalites i don't know what exactly but they were coming and attacking families of estate owners and my dad is an estate owner so we were hearing that they are coming to houses breaking open the doors pulling out the people murdering them so we were all so terrified and um, since uh, and my parents said you know we must all of us must pray for god sent uh, god to protect us pray to mother mary and so i remember like during the family rosary all of us are kneeling down and praying and i remember me you know just really calling to mother mary that's the first time in my life i just as if i connected with mother mary and i'm calling her you know hail mary full of grace pray for us in us every you know every word i'm meaning and calling out to mother mary and i could feel like some power of god also in that prayer barely we prayed like that a couple of days maybe i don't even remember for too long and then my uncle who was in who was in bangalore he called my dad and he uh, asked my dad uh, would you like to join me in my business in bangalore why don't you come to bangalore we'll talk about it so my dad was like and my mother they were quite excited they said okay we'll come and so like that they came to bangalore all plans were changed completely here we had bought the, my dad had bought this big plot of land and he was going to build a house but all that changed and we are out from kerala and we have come to bangalore so that was uh, like a miracle you know i know that it was mother mary's divine intervention her intercession for us it was immediate so with this incident i just realized mother mary is so real and you know she hears our prayers and also i understood one thing that before that i would pray the rosary i mean all of us would pray the rosary but it was so casual i don't think our minds were there but that time I remember like really touching her heart and that connection was there and with that came the miracle even now I see that you know often when we casually pray the rosary I don't see anything I'm mean, nothing happens like but then the when you like really uh, decide that I want to connect with mother mary and I've seen also when I kneel down and stretch out my hand and I pray I connect with mother mary always miracles happen
when we were in my uh, maternal grandparents house god sent a prophet there very old man you know 86 year old man uh, like thin frail person but he was so full of the holy spirit and uh, he would deliver people i mean he was an exorcist people who are possessed would come there and he would deliver them so powerfully and you know then i w- saw that then we we would have our family rosary in the evenings so all the grandchildren come together so you know how you know they'll all be giggling laughing uh, so like rosary time also they'll giggle a lot and so this person uh, this holy man he was there that like he made us see like you know how you have to just a uh, time to be reverent and so like everyone like that a lot of change came with that holy prophet coming there then when we went back to our homes like each one went back to their place we came back to bangalore i remember in the evenings we would have a family rosary we all started praying quite devoutly and i still remember once uh, my mother and just at that time in the night we are hearing this uh, some strange bird it's making so much of noise so my mom she just uh, she said i think that's the devil distracting us so that you know like we won't pray we'll get distracted so that you know i also realized my god that really seems to be true so then with more determination we prayed the rosary so devoutly every day we were praying like that for some days it was one of those days i was saved from a terrible accident me we all would go by bus to school and our school is quite far the this bus and a lorry there was a collision and i just saw this truck coming and i knew that it's inevitable this truck will hit the bus the word that came out of my mouth was jesus those days i never would uh, say jesus so much but i don't know how but that day i just whispered jesus that's it and then when i looked the bus is upside down and someone pulled me out from the window and then uh, i just walked back home then when my mother came and my siblings came and they saw this they couldn't believe it and i saw them bringing out so many um, passengers no terribly wounded and cut and i mean like bleeding and all that but i came out without a scratch calling on the name of jesus i really believe that it was mother mary's intercession uh, that i was able to call the name of jesus at that moment and come out unscathed absolutely true that when we love mother mary pray to her devoted to her she will bring you close to jesus that is her uh, that as she said you know at the wedding feast of cana she said do whatever he tells you that's what she does lovely lady dressed in blue teach me how to pray God was once your little boy tell me what to say did you lift him up sometimes gently on your knee did you sing to him the way that my mother does to me did you hold his hand at night did you ever try stories of the world oh when did he cry do you really think he cares if i tell him things little things that happen and do the angels wings make a noise 6 years ago one day a uh, one fine day like i was De- detected with the breast cancer and uh, my whole world would have fallen apart the family but i we just felt god's presence so much 
like nobody lost hope but everyone like you know felt the lord is there jesus you know he does miracles and wonders mother mary's um, care is there and i believe that um, it is only by really by mother mary's special intercession that i was able to detect it soon if i had missed it it could have been fatal so i was able to get all the treatment and even the doctor said you will be fine and back to normal i feel she's with us in everything protecting us saving us from all kinds of evil attacks from all kinds of dangers you know even before we know it's like as if she's already there and she's uh, saving us i really feel a great protection strength power coming uh, by being close to mother mary i also feel like for my family also uh, we are protected and uh, immensely blessed and we keep ourselves like close to mother mary through pilgrimages on and off we go for pilgrimages then of course the family rosary then novenas feel very confident always we get that courage you know that she is there and uh, you know especially from evil attacks you are protected and your family is also protected you can you know when you if you sense any kind of danger you just go on your knees and pray the rosary and ask mother mary to take care of that situation something will surely happen you know she will intervene and divine protection will come divine help will come because she is assumed into heaven her bodily she is taken to heaven so she is still connected with the earth i believe that have such a wonderful powerful wise holy good mother a heavenly mother who is walking with us she is the a most highly favored of all women so she just has to say something to jesus and you know something will happen so that's what i believe about mother mary and experienced of her immaculate mary thy praises we sing who reigns in splendor with jesus our king ave 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 maria ave 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 maria ave My name is Michael O'Neill and I'm the Miracle Hunter and today we're talking about some of the miraculous images of the Virgin Mary from around the world. One of my favorite stories of the Virgin Mary and it's kind of on the level of Our Lady of Guadalupe who left that lasting image for St. Juan Diego. There's another image like this and it's actually found in Colombia. There was a woman named Maria Moises de Quiñones and in the year 1754 she was walking amongst Las Lajas or the flagstones when she was caught in a snow in a in a rainstorm. She was running to a cave to to seek uh, protection from that rainstorm and her daughter got there first. Now her daughter was very sickly. She was deaf and mute and all of a sudden she started exclaiming, "I hear the Virgin Mary." And sure enough they ran away from that spot in fear. they ran uh, to Itopiales where they were from and the town's people came back with them and uh, when they did come back they discovered an image of the virgin mary that was emblazoned on the cave wall where they were about to go in and this is an image of the virgin mary it looks like it's in spanish style from the 17th century and it has the mother and child with saint dominic and saint francis depicted in the same spot And this may look like a painting at first, but scientists have actually cored into that image and found that the color goes seven feet deep. And so, no, no known uh, scientific process can produce color in rock. 
This is considered a miracle locally and a miracle for the world that's been approved by the Catholic Church. And that was Our Lady of Las Lajas in uh, Kidara Canyon in the year 1754. God's love story.